Okay, improvements we made this week. A couple of them here are software related. So what we've done is we've developed uh, catalog items for keyboard tray, pencil tray, kick panel with keyboard, kick panel with pencil, and just a, a plain kick panel. Let me show you what those are. So first off, when they come in, they come in as a full cabinet. And so the keyboard tray, the text is already there. And then uh, I'll show you on this one here. So a kick panel with a pencil tray, it comes in, that's one catalog item. And let me show you what's inside of that. And so the both of these we developed with Jeremy and Hugo. So the kick panel comes in, it's actually a cabinet and it runs full length. When we put the baseboard notch in it, it'll have the baseboard notch. These are the holes here to mount that to the cabinet. Those are through holes. So you can just place that right up against the side of the cabinet and, and screw it on. You don't have to figure out, they are universal side to side. And so they'll go on there. Uh, and then on the back of the kick panel, there's three three millimeter holes for locating the magnet. And then, oops, and now I'm lost. Let me come back in here on that side panel is also two holes for the the magnet that'll that'll bolt onto the magnet so everything's pre-drilled on there it'll go right into place and then this panel here up above is is a universal one for a keyboard or a pencil tray and it's got holes pre-drilled to mount to the bottom of the cabinet and then we've got holes pre-drilled for the uh, the keyboard or the pencil tray in it. So uh, it should make installing those uh, the three items much simpler. And that's all in version 11. And we'll go over here. They are in the it's in the home office catalog. Right now they're at the bottom. We'll move them up into the the stuff where it's easier to find. But uh, nice, easy, quick improvement. So last week's improvement with, uh, is we put the dust collector switch on the wall right here. And what we found is you had to walk to it or reach around it. So Jeremy suggested we had Keith out and we put uh, a switch right on the side of the, the table saw and also right over there on the chop saw that where you can turn it off right there in front of it. So this one here, this is a vacuum I went and bought and put in the cabinet that we've got hooked up to the, the track saw. And then additionally, we found we've got this little box here off of Amazon and is what it does is when the saw starts, the vacuum automatically starts and then runs for a little bit and shuts off. 